Hello everyone, this is Redstone, and welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. It's been a while since I did a tutorial video, and we have finished Water Rush. Here it is. And as you see by the top of the video, we're doing What Goes Up, which is the game right behind Water Rush. Yay! Okay, so... Quick correction, make sure this is not fence and that's gravel because I think we accidentally placed the fence there. And there's a grave here, gotta, gotta remember that. So the grave goes right here, rest in peace Aqua the dog, and then here just place some gravel and that should be your grave now we're ready to move on so we need to push this path a bit so if you guess I cut this out this is not the actual length but we'll figure that out after you build the first wall. Okay, so just put your, your bit of path there. So over here, where the edge of water rush is, this last block here, line it up to the end of this path and go to the left, punch out three. So it should look like that. And this is where the actual the actual game will be, right here in this area. You're going to want to dig out a pretty decent amount. Okay, so if we leave two blocks or one block space between each side, that ends up being the corner of the red. And we're going to build, we're going to build 20 blocks, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Twenty. Okay, and then after the twenty, you want to build sixteen yellow. And make sure that's all thirty six. It's all 36, perfect. So now right here on the edge of the red, put a put a red pillar that goes three blocks taller. And now go two blocks to the side, actually three, and make a door frame. This is where the door was go the doors will go. Put that there for the door. And we want stone slabs because you want to surround this red wool stone slabs. And do that. So put your doors here. So that's where the doors go. And then drag this all the way back. And that becomes a window. And same over here. Drag and don't put yellow wool here. The edge should be red. Okay. So if you grab glass blocks and place the glass in, we want this edge to be, we believe, 20 and then 16. 20. So this is 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. After that, get blue and do sixteen. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
this should be 16. Yep. Now this is the edge. This is also 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then get green. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We'll look space. Perfect. Then drag this across to here. This should be 16. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And that just connects up. And that is, that's how the, the walls go. Now we need to finish them. So just drag these across. Okay, we actually need to make the corners like this. So I'll do that over here as well. Drag this across. Make that should be the doorway. Then this is dragged across. Then this goes down here. Take the doorway. Okay, now here, that's the doorway. So, do the same over here with the red. Stone slabs here, pressure plates there, iron doors there. Iron doors, blue pressure plates, stone slabs. Yeah, the wall, iron doors, stone slabs, pressure plate. There we go. Now the spaces that are here, just fill this up with glass, because we already know that's how it is. Now that your windows are in, we can start the room things. Okay, so we pop out three from each side, lift it up, create the square like that, and then put the glass in this shape, and then drag the red wool on, on top. So it looks like this, and also add in the floor, and that's how it should be. What you do is you you shoot the arrows from there, okay? And do the same thing on all of them. And I don't think they're supposed to be symmetrical. We line. Oh, wait, it is. Alright, that's cool. At least that's. I don't know that's how it works, but. There you go. Got the red, the green, blue, and yellow. Now for the other stuff. Okay. So, you get black wool. And dig this, dig this whole thing out. Yeah, now I get to dig this out. There's the dugout area. Now, if we grab black wool. So what we want to do is, from each side of these um, little rooms, the pods, we're going to go two blocks from each side, each direction, and then we're just going to drag that across the entire way down.
Okay, so now we actually want to do the next three blocks in. So you can do these three like that and fill this in as well. Leave one block of space between the pod, then do the same. Now, connect that up. So now we need to do the same thing here. See, it's starting to make a crisscross. Do the same here. Goes around. There we go. So it looks like this, right? Fill it in like so. So we actually need to fill in one, one extra. Yeah. From here, just fill in one extra off the edge. So it looks like this. Now you can get each color, red, yellow, and blue. So looking at the red direction, we're going to go here. I'm going to put yellow a yellow square like this, then green diagonal to it, then red underneath the yellow, and lastly blue beside the yellow, or on top of the green. So it looks like this. See, so it's starting to look like it. So actually, if we get torches, we actually need to place torches on all the top blocks going this direction as well. Actually, no. Sorry. Those don't go there. But it does go on the edge. Yada walls. Okay. Now the wall needs to go. So look straight at the pod, whatever color that is, you fill this hole in with that color. So that's red, and this is green, etc. There we go. That's starting to look better. Now going going to whatever color, pick a color. I'll do red. Go on the edge of the black and just drag an outline of red along the entire 
way, making a box. A red box. So there, that's what I did. So if you were building yellow, you build yellow, blue, and green, you know. So now we need to make a plus sign. And we do that by going to the middle, dragging it across, then going to the other side of the middle, and dragging them across. And this is what you get from that. Now, put black inside, black squares inside of each of these little other squares. See, there's black. Now, whatever color it is, you go up one and then build the 3x3 three three square. So now you have this thing. Now we can also put torches along the black like this on all sides it's a very lit up game and the torches also go on the black outlines like here and they cross to that side and they're also outlining these other things. So there's one. Now you would do the same with all the other ones. And I'll see you when I get there.
There we go. There's the all the colors that done. Now one thing I would like to say, you also need to put a black wall in the middle of these things. Cause that's where the rails sit on top. And they're yeah. They're all detector rails. So you just throw detector rails on all these on all of them and you're good. So you just put the, them there. They go on all these and they each have minecarts on them but we're not going to put them on yet. I think we could do the rest in the next next episode. I think we could do all of it. You believe me? It's not that hard, redstone. It might look hard, but it's not really. You just gotta know how it works. All right. There's the whole thing ready for redstone. Uh, everyone, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye.